I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to write general solution of a trigonometric equation. To start with I have taken one of the most simplest equations. The equation to solve is sin x equals to minus cosine x and we need to find general solution for this equation. So basically we are given that sin x is equals to minus cos x. Now to solve this equation we can divide both sides by cos x right. So if we divide both sides by cos x then we get sin x equals to cos x equals to minus 1 right. So of course when we divide we should say that cos x cannot be equal to 0. So that is kind of restriction which we put on this right. Now you know sin x divided by cos x is tan x. So we have tan x equals to minus 1. So we need to find solution for the equation tan x equals to minus 1. Now you could use calculator at this time and find the solution. You could use uh, your knowledge about tan graph and find the solution or you can use special triangles, right? Now how to go about? So when it is like tan x equals to minus 1, what I will suggest is we will use the approach with special triangles since that is a value which we can get with special triangle. If I have a triangle with 45 degrees for example then I have these opposite sides which are 1 each and the hypotenuse is 2. So what we know from here is that tan A is equals to 1 for A equals to 45 degrees right. So that is one thing we know. Other approach is that we can use the calculator but whenever you use calculator I will suggest you use it along with the knowledge of quadrants. That is to say let us say we have these quadrants and in these quadrants we know quadrant 1 all are positive right A. A all are positive. In quadrant 2 sine is positive. In quadrant 3 tan is positive and in quadrant 4 cosine is positive. Since tan x is minus 1, we are actually looking for two solutions. It could be in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 1. Do you see that part? So it's kind of important to see it. Otherwise, if you use calculator, you will miss on one of the solutions. So I don't want you to miss that, right? So that is kind of very important to understand. So what we do is we really find the acute angle so we find actually tan of A, let me write capital A this time, equals to 1 with the calculator or with this. So if you use calculator for example, let's use calculator and find the value. You say A should be equals to tan inverse of 1, right? So we'll say shift second function 1 bracket equals to 45 degrees. So we get A equals to 45 degrees same as we got there correct so that really means that if I have principal angle of 45 degrees in coordinate 1 that is then I get tan value as 1 what we are interested in tan value of minus 1 so that means we are looking for the solutions in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 so those solutions will be kind of like this where this angle is 45 degrees. The acute angle which you make with the horizontal. But the answer should always be written in terms of principal angle which is from positive x-axis. So how much is that angle? That is what we are looking for. So what we have is this angle which is called tan x. So we say x is equals to 180 minus 45 degrees. 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. Do you see that? So that is what we get our answer which is you can use calculator and then get 135 degrees. So x actually is 135 degrees. So that is one of the angles. But tan repeats after every 180 degrees. So you know period of tan is 180 degrees. Let me write down here we know period of tan x is 180 degrees or pi. Is it okay? So since it repeats after every 180 degrees, general answer should be what? Or general solution will be what? That is what we are interested in finding for the given equation. So the general solution will be 135 degrees plus multiples of 
180. So we say 180 degrees n times where n belongs to set of integers. It could be plus or minus, correct? So 135 degrees plus 180 degrees, 135 degrees minus 180 degrees. So that becomes our general solution. Well, those of you who are doing in radians, for them, one, this is pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. We have 3 pi by 4 plus 180 degrees pi. So we'll say n pi. So that becomes the general solution in radians, okay? So the idea here is whenever you're solving a trigonometric equation, you try to figure out in which quadrant the solution lies. Find the value of acute angle and then find the other answers. And third, lastly, you should write, if asked for, general solution, as I've mentioned, in terms of including the periodicity of the trigonometric ratio. For tan, it is 180 degrees or pi. For sine and cosine, it is 2 pi or 360 degrees, okay? I hope this will help you to solve many trigonometric equations. So this is a very basic starting, but I think it gives you a good foundation. Thank you and all the best.